Listen, it's real simple. Yo, roll with us. Uh, get rolled over. Yo, what's going on? Hey. How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new vlog with your boy Nadim. So today I'm doing Akisha's first drive in the Golf R. Well, it's technically not the first drive because she has actually been driving the car all week. And I just want to start off the video by saying, let me just clear something up, right? Akisha, mm -hmm. whose car is it? Mine. Yes, it isn't my car. And I know it seems like I've been driving the car a hell of a lot more than Akisha, but Akisha, explain what's been going on. Basically, when he takes a car, he just takes photos, so everyone just assumes that he it's his car. But yeah, so I've actually driven the car maybe. You've only driven like three times. Like twice or three times, if that. And it hasn't even been that far, and that was basically Except just for one time when you were like, "Yeah, I'm going around the corner," and then he comes back like three hours later. Yeah, that was literally just to put the alloys on and mm. uh, the spoiler. So, Keisha, quickly talk us through the mods on the car. What do you think? Sick. So it was originally chrome, so we de-chromed it. So it's got a black spoiler and black alloys, and the front band at the what's it called? The yeah. grill. The grill. Uh, the front grill. The yeah. line on the front grill front grill's been blacked out we were considering blacking out the badges but i think that'd be too much personally yeah so we don't know if we should put some gloss black vw badges you know the big vw badges on the front and the back because mm, we've yeah. seen a few on instagram in blue and it does look kind of cool but i just feel like it's one of those where it would look cool in edited pictures but in real life it might look a little bit tacky so i think it'd be too much yeah it might be too much and everyone's commenting saying we should black out the mirrors no. or carbon the mirrors but it breaks it up a bit yeah this, the silver mirrors does break it up a bit and i feel like when you see the silver mirrors you automatically know that it's an r so if we black out if we black out the mirrors then it, i don't know we'll see we'll see but you were talking about wrapping the roof black weren't you mm. gloss black so yeah we don't know about maybe wrapping the roof gloss black let us know what you think but you shall we shall we do this first driver and you can talk us through what you think of the car and stuff yeah yeah where are we going let's go where do you want to go uh take i it need to, to run some errands so. yeah let's run some errands and you can you can do the drive at the same time before we go let me put my seat on because you're a crazy driver. Alright, so what mode are you driving in right now? Normal. Normal? Yeah. Alright, so drop it into... Oh, it's in eco. No, so it's not because it, it says D something. Yeah, now it's in eco. So this car's actually like the RS3, so when you turn off the car, even if you leave it in um, eco, and it shows that the car's in eco, it isn't actually in eco, it kind of you kind of have to cycle through the modes again to put it back into eco does that make sense so show that it's an eco on there but it isn't actually an eco because you can just tell from the exhaust note and and also from from the dash as well because it normally displays an e on the dash when it's an e when it's an e for efficiency eco whatever you want to call it but keisha what do you think of the drive on this car it's well good <laughs> It's well good. It's really, um, it's a proper comfortable drive. So you've driven the BMW M140, right? And everyone's saying that, yo, why did you buy your sister such a powerful car for a first car? But explain, man. You've driven my I've stage driven two. The M1, yeah. yeah, the M140 was stage two. You, you've driven the, you've driven the M140, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've driven the M140 loads, and I've taken it Manchester. I've done motorway driving so it's not like I've not driven at all so I have had like experience yeah it? she even raced an Audi S3 in the in the M140i as well so she has had experience took it off the scene as well so this car is if I'm honest it's kind of tame in comparison to to the BM so she should have no problem driving it but in terms of like comfort and stuff what do you think <coughs> sorry I got a bit of a cough um this car's um really comfy to drive just because it's so would you recommend uh, other people get it as a first car? Yeah. Your age? My age, for my age definitely, because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is, it is a fun car, but obviously you need to bear in, my, bear in mind as well, it does depend on how sensible <coughs> how sensible the person is. So like, for someone it sensible- It sticks to the road as well, so I guess you wouldn't have that problem. So in the BMW, I had the problem where the back end would spin out a lot. Yeah, this, this car is one of those cars where it's fast, but it's a really safe car because of the full motion. So it's a good all-arounder and depends on yeah. how you want to drive it too so for example you can drive it as a normal golf if you just put it in like a eco mode normal individual driving mode 
or if you do want the sport then obviously you're walking in sport and you can tell the difference as well so you get the best of both worlds really so you get the comfort of a normal car and you get a bit of a sport as well yeah get that no, no. yeah yeah yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So like, uh, you don't have to drive like an idiot all the time. Like, if if you're a new driver and you're gonna plant your foot all the time, you're gonna be weaving in and out of traffic, which I see a lot of these cars doing, especially in city. Then you're gonna you're gonna wrap it around a tree, and it probably isn't gonna be. You probably shouldn't be driving it. But if you're gonna be sensible, if you're gonna have fun when the road's empty, when you're on a back road, then fair enough, man. Like this car is perfect, and. Um, yeah, but she's banned actually from using race mode because I've told her if you drive, if I catch you driving this car My fast, insurance is getting cancelled. Insurance is getting cancelled. I'm ringing them up. I'm cancelling that insurance. So you you're know, banned. No, mom, try race me because my insurance will get cancelled. And yeah. yeah, she rang me up the other day saying saying some dudes were trying to race her <laughs> in in. Blackburn. It was so scary. I didn't understand what was going on. So um, they just pulled up. And they were like flashing, had the windows. Like, yeah, give it, give it, give it. Come on, come on. I was like, no. Yeah, so listen, don't try to race my sister, man. She's a new driver. Just <laughs> bear that in mind. Ones. If you want to race me, come race me. Come at me. I'll race you all day long, but don't race my sister, man. She's a new driver and I, I don't want nothing. I didn't. I didn't race. Yeah, she didn't race. She ain't going to race. So just point that out of there. Don't try to race my little sister, <laughs> man. It was quite funny, actually. I right, take you out of this boring, boring uh, eco mode. Put it in race. Send it, bro. Send it, bro. Uh. Yo, it does sound. It sounds pretty good from the cabin, you know. Yeah, it is good. I think it surprised you a lot, a lot, a lot, didn't it? So, how's race mode? Sick. Put the windows down. You hear it more. Can't really do it. Right, put it back in, put it back in, no, let's put it in, uh, let's put it in eco. Now? Yeah, the exhaust has opened up a little bit after 200 miles, but I still think it's a little bit muted. Obviously, comparing it to to a 3 litre, it's yeah, going to sound muted. Yeah, compared to the M140, it is muted. And comparing it to the pops and bangs of the RS3, it's going to be muted. I'm not actually... Oh, I'm really ill. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to vomit. Hey, get out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Are you that won't be good. Real? Yeah, yeah, I'm for serious. Real, real. Well, so yeah, anyway, um, yeah, yeah. So what was I saying? I'm distracted now. Pops and bangs, RS3. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually heard it from the outside. You know, when when someone's driving it off, I don't know what it I've sounds like. I've heard it. It sounds mad. Like when I've had people in the car and it's in. Oh, I'm not had it. In no, as in, you know, if <laughs> I saw it flying by. Yeah. I'm not actually heard it going past, but. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a comparison with this and the and obviously my my M140. That's not really fair though. But then I guess this would win on some things and. Yeah, that video is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And so um, yeah, talk. What else? What else? Um, so what have we talked about? Comfort, good. Sound system, sick. You know. Yeah, the sound system is good for the stock sound system. It, it is really good. But what else? What else do you want to uh, talk about? So dash. it's comfortable. Well, yeah, the dash is good. The technology is good. Do you know what though? This car has actually surprised me a lot. Really surprised me. I know I've cussed this car. Move! I can't see uh, my mirror now. I've, I've cussed. I've cussed this car a bit in the past, yeah? He cussed but the hell out of this car. He was calling it, it like a shot car. Yeah, it, it has surprised me. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, the technology in the car is really I good. I honestly and, prefer it to your M140. No lie. And as a daily driver, it's really good. It's really comfortable. Like, I've driven this car like three times, okay? So I can't really gauge what it's like in fuel. Yeah, but I can tell when you've been in but, the car because my fuel's like... I know for a fact it's nowhere near as much to run as the M140 because like what we've we've put what do we put half a tank and we're still we're still half running. Half a tank's not even that bad as well, you know? Yeah. I think so it was like It's decent to run. It's not it's not that bad, you know. It's not that bad. So we've just taken a pit stop. I wanna go to B and M bargains. The home of bargains because we need to get some fire lanterns to set off later. Ain't that right? 
But while we're parked up Do here, I suit this one, while we're parked up here, just right, quickly, quickly um, show them around the car. So we've got the black wheels on now. We've done. Did we do these? Yeah. So the badges are now black. I told you I could have gone more forward. Um, this black. Yeah, the grill bar is wrapped in black which obviously I did and I did a good job I did a good job on that alloys are black yeah the alloys are black <laughs> and, and obviously we did the full polish and wax they did a sick job shout out to Zane and John John for doing such an epic job on the car okay. and obviously she was talking about wrapping this gloss black but it'll give the like illusion as well of a pan roof on it yeah it'll give the illusion of a pan roof but it won't be a pan roof <laughs> but I just feel like to be honest, it will finish the it will it, it will finish the look off with the black roof. And lastly, Maxton Designs spoiler actually went with the seven, so the Mark Seven version because it's more aggressive. For some reason, the seven point five version is less aggressive. I don't know why they've done that, but it is what it is. But um. Shall we get on with that? Shall we get on with the rest of the day? Maybe do a little start up when we get back and then then I'll end the video. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Start up. Start up. Is it race? Put in race, I want to hear it. We're literally revving the car in the middle of this uh, retail park. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't, because of the OPF filter, it doesn't pop on when it's stationary anymore. Come on, VW, what are you doing? Emissions are ruining cars. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't pop when it's stationary, which is what I suspected I because think of the film. It takes a while. When it warms up, it's not too bad. To be yeah, honest. when you're driving, it does it. But you know, when you're stationary, because of the new emissions and stuff, they're just ruining the sound of cars. I know it's. So if you want a good sound, yeah, get an old one, honestly. But I'm gonna end the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. Really quick, we didn't really drive fast, did we? Mm -mm. No. All right, but I'll tell you what, we will get a proper. We'll get a proper drive, yeah? When the car's running a little bit. Yeah. Take it on a back road and drive it properly. I was thinking Guess as well, what else? We can do like um, a play this video. Or they can ask questions or something on your Instagram and we can answer them. All right, yeah, cool. We'll see. We'll get that sorted. But yeah, we'll get a proper <laughs> drive video. I'll get a, I'll obviously do my driving in the car <coughs> because you know what I'm you a mean? driver. What you mean? But yeah thanks for uh, your insight into the into the golf it wasn't very helpful was uh, it? no thanks <laughs> thanks for letting me the giving me the privilege of sitting in the, the passenger seat of of your car you're welcome anyway if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it time to jam out now um, take it easy peace out